Hello everyone, welcome to the science class. Let's learn about the two types of mixture, the heterogeneous and homogeneous mixture. But first, let us define what is a mixture. A mixture is the result of combining two or more substances that do not react chemically. A homogeneous and heterogeneous are person for most both mixture. That means no chemical bonding has occurred between the substances in the mixture. They can be separated through physical means if necessary. The difference between the two mixtures and how well they are mixed. Heterogeneous mixture having a non-uniform composition, the composition varies one region to another, with at least two phases that remain separated from each other, which clearly identifiable properties. Soil is an example of a heterogeneous mixture that combines many different elements which are not uniform. Rock and sand at the beach are a heterogeneous mixture. All different shapes, size, and texture are different. Sand shaking up in a battle is a heterogeneous mixture. A sand particles floating around which will eventually settle to the bottom of the paddle, making it look a lot less like a mixture. Sugar and salt form a heterogeneous mixture. If you look closely, you can identify tiny sugar, crystal and particles, and salt. Cement and gravel are also examples of a heterogeneous mixture and orange juice will pulp. Foods are often is also a great example of heterogeneous mixture like pizza. The homogeneous is a mixture that refers to a substance that is consistent of uniform through its volume. Homogeneous mixture is that can't you see the difference part of the matter? It all looks uniform. Example, when we are going to mix the salt and sugar in the water, the particles of salt and sugar are being dissolved in the water. Milk is also a great example of homogeneous because you can see the components in it, it's uniformly dissolved. Water itself is an example of a homogeneous mixture. It contains dissolved minerals and gases, but they are dissolved throughout the water. Tap water and drain water are also examples of a homogeneous mixture. A cup of coffee is considered a homogeneous mixture. If the sugar is completely dissolved, the coffee is still considered homogeneous mixture since the mixture of coffee and sugar is uniform throughout the cup. Many beverages are examples of homogeneous mixture. From orange juice you drink in the morning to the glass of water you drink in the afternoon and the cup of tea you have just before in bed. Let's have some examples. What about this picture? Is this a heterogeneous? Yes, it is a heterogeneous mixture. 
what about this picture? Is this a homogeneous? No. It is a heterogeneous mixture. Look at this picture. Is this a homogeneous mixture? Yes, it is a homogeneous mixture. Look at this picture. Is this a heterogeneous mixture? No. It is a homogeneous mixture. Do you understand the difference between the two mixtures? Then yes, very good. You have a good observation.